Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Paper 1 Physics in the year 2019. This was a simple question from electrostatics based on the concept of electric field and potential of a hollow shell. And this was a single choice correct question and I am sure that almost all the students in India would have done this question. So let's see what is being asked in this question. There is a, a spherical insulating shell of radius R which has a uniformly distributed charge. So under this condition, the potential at the surface of the shell has been given as V0. Now what we are doing is we are removing a very, very small area from the shell whose area, uh, whose value is the value of the area that has been removed is alpha into 4 pi r square, where alpha is a fraction which is much, much less than 1. And we have to assume that the remaining uh, shell remains as it is. That means the charge on the other remaining part of the shell is as it is. Which of the following statements are correct? So if we see the situation, basically what is happening over here, initially if the situation was like this and the charge was let us say uniformly distributed on this, the radius was r we can assume. So according to the given condition v naught will be equals to kq by r. right? Now what we are doing, we are removing a small part let us say from here. So, so basically a very, very small part of the charge will be gone, right? The area that has been removed, so basically we can say that dA, dA is the area that has been removed, is alpha into 4 pi r square. 4 pi r square is the total surface area of the shell and alpha is a very, very small fraction. So we have to see that very small part of the area has been removed. So now since charge is uniformly distributed on the shell, uh, on the area of the shell rather, so can we say that alpha fraction of the charge will also be removed, right? Because if you think, then if you say dq charge has been removed, let us say, so we can say that uh, this will, dq will be equals to q upon 4 pi r square into the area that has been removed, dA. So that will become 4 pi r square, alpha into 4 pi r square. So this becomes alpha q. Right, So this amount of charge has been removed. So if you think carefully what are we left with? We are left with this uh, small part of the, let me, yeah. So we are left with this much shell and a very small tiny pore part has been removed. Now to do this question fast, can we think that actually the shell was still full and instead let us say a negative charge of this much value has been kept? over here. From the perspective of charge, if we think, then is this not the same situation that has been created? Matlab, main pe hun, minus alpha q charge if we put over here, is point pe. So if to this minus alpha q and that plus alpha q will be neutralized and we will be left with the uh, remaining shell, if you think. So let's check the options. This is the center of the shell. If you go to the option one, ratio of the potential at the center of the shell to that at the point r by 2 from the center towards the hole will be this. So ratio we have to take here and one here. So how do we write the center of the shell? Pe ratio kaise because of the whole shell, we can say that uh, ratio will be V0 because of the whole shell. But because of this minus charge, we can say kq by r. So this is a negative charge. So k into alpha q by r k into alpha q by r. This is the potential at the center. Hai na? Divided by potential at this point, which is r by 2. This distance is r by 2. Yaha pe potential jo aega, that basically, because of the whole shell, it will be again constant, because whole shell ka potential under constant hai shell ke. So it will be v naught itself. Minus is charge ka potential, which is k into alpha q upon r by 2. So that will become 2k alpha q upon r. R ko r by 2 lik diya. Ab if you see v0 is kq by r. So v0 cancel ho jayega. v0 kq by r. v0 kq by r. So if you see we get 1 minus alpha upon 1 minus 2 alpha. Correct. So option A is right. And hence we were not required to check other options since option this was a single choice correct question. But here. Since we are doing this video for the learning purpose, so we will check all other options as well. The potential at the center of the shell is going to be reduced by 2 alpha v naught. 
we have already checked that potential at the center of the shell actually reduces by the value alpha v naught you can see over here this is the reduction in the potential hai na to potential center pe it reduces by the value alpha v naught and hence option b is wrong magnitude of the electric field at the center of the shell is reduced by alpha v naught by 2 r if we are smart enough we don't have to even check this option it says that magnitude of the electric field at the center reduces by now if you think carefully what is the magnitude of the electric field here zero so magnitude can never be less than zero so there is no chance of any reduction in the magnitude so of course option c we don't need to check but since we are again learning uh, doing this for the learning purpose so if we want to ask the if we want to find the uh, reduction in the uh, magnitude of the electric field so we can say that earlier the electric field was zero now the field due to hole of the shell will still be zero and because of this field because of this charge we will have the field k into alpha q by r square k into alpha q by r square so that will be the reduction in the magnitude that will be the increment in the magnitude rather not the reduction okay check the so anyway this is wrong so option d if you want the magnitude of the electric field at a point located on the line passing through the hole and the shell center on the dist, uh, on a distance of 2r from the center of the spherical shell will be reduced by alpha v not by 2r so basically if this is the hole this is the hole so we are talking about a point here p okay actually it is not mentioned whether we have to take p on this side or this side but as we will see or uh, if even if you take p on the other side we will uh, the answer is not going to change that means even option d will be wrong in that case as well so if you find the electric field initially at this situation so initially the electric field was k into let me write the option d over here so electric field initially was alpha sorry electric field initially was k q by 2r ka whole square that means 4r square correct now finally the electric field again we can write due to whole shell and due to this minus q so e final will be is equals to k q by 4r square that will be due to the whole shell okay and due to minus q will be k alpha q divided by this distance will be r so this this will be r square correct so if you take the difference you can see this itself is the change in the magnitude k q by r ko you can write v not and hence we can say delta electric field will be uh, if you were talking about the change in the magnitude so it will become uh, how much mm, k q by r is v not so alpha v not by r this is the mod of alpha v not by r so uh, k q by r is uh, v not and alpha v not by yes that is right so basically you can see option d is also wrong even if you would have taken point p here then also these two things would have remained the same and here we would have gotten 3r ka whole 9r ka whole square because 3r ka whole 3r ka whole square would have become 9r square then also option d would have been wrong because it says alpha v not by 2r so as you can see option a was the correct question the question was simple and i am sure most of the students in india would have done this thank you